Like people don't like pain. It's why most people don't have six packs. A few moments later. Anybody got a six pack out there? Show me, show me, show me, show me. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Pretty sexy out there. You got your perspective. I just want to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? Was there any apprehension about entering the cannabis game? No. Does the cannabis, <laughs> does the cannabis and, and then put dot, 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 dot. And the reason it's just a one word answer is it's binary. Either you want to be on the right side of history or you don't. And I'm completely convinced that me entering the space uh, is, uh, is going to be viewed historically correct. In your opinion, what does the cannabis industry need to do in order to thrive? You know, I think it needs to go through its natural progression of wild, wild west to corporate. I think it's happening faster than I would like to see it. I think corporations have been quick to absorb this industry and I think you're gonna have a little bit of a genderfication conflict. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's, it doesn't need anything from me. It doesn't need anything from anybody. It's naturally gonna progress into one of the biggest industries in the world. Where do you see it in five years from now? Uh, an accelerated version of this where a lot of pretenders will be wiped out. The economy will probably collapse in that five years. So I think some of the hyper overvaluation will correct itself, but it itself will continue to grow. No different than Amazon continuing to grow touring 2001 and two, even though the internet bubble bursted. What do you want to tell the nine-year-old self right now? My nine-year-old self? You fucking did it. How are you, man? It's fucking real, man. It's fucking cool. It's fucking real. And what's crazy about it is like, it's like all meant to be, man, because like I've been doing this, I've been doing this fucking flip shit. I fucking work 15 hour days, every day, five days a week. I don't call in, but I do one thing every day for the, for this, my my education for the flip game for that and it's all thanks to you. I appreciate it, man. I really. I'm so happy, brother. What have you? Uh, what's been? What's to, what's been flipping well? Uh, shoes have been flipping well. Toys, online arbitrage is really my thing, right? Buy on eBay, sell on Amazon. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I believe in that shit a lot. Right. Right, that's huge. That's been huge for me. And this Actually, is the season, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Holla, Q4. Q4. Uh -huh. uh, absolutely the season. Um, and How long have you been doing of, it? I've been doing it for about uh, three months. Three months. And uh, it's it's like way more effective than you could have ever dreamed, right? It's it's crazy. Like pe people don't, re like literally yeah, I believe people can make $100,000 a year. I mean, just going to Target and Walmart, buying something, coming home, and posting it on Amazon. It's amazing. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's just had to take a little bit convincing from my family. They should see the proof in the pudding. And I'm doing it, and it's like. Okay, convincing shit. as in like the cynicism or like well, as in like everybody like, throwing really, 5,000 bucks? Pretty, I have a pretty good job. I'm, right. I'm a pretty good job and, and but I want to be my own boss. Right? I get it. I want, you know, so uh, convincing my family and... and that you're not crazy. That I'm, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Proof is, you know, what I mean. Yeah, I mean, that to me is like, it's a, the reason I'm jumping on that statement is like the amount of people that don't do what they want to do because Convincing, like to me, the reason I asked you, like convincing exactly. your family, as in, like you're asking them for money. No, right. right. So to me, it goes to the part that I'm like, what, like how many people out there aren't as strong as you, and never do anything because the judgment of their family stops them from doing shit. Well, that's like what you say, man. It's all about action. Take action. Super simple. Every single thing I've ever done in my life, people thought was stupid until it, they did it. Beautiful. Well, because when you do something early or that isn't mainstream yet it's always gonna be met with cynicism. The internet was a fad when I started. The whole thing. The whole fucking internet. Not flipping, not Instagram. The whole fucking framework was gonna be gone by the year 2000, all these people told me. Y2K is gonna kill the internet. This is just some of the shit that I heard from like people that didn't know. It's good man, I'm really happy you won.
curious because I'm, I'm, I am probably both of you guys' biggest fans. And I like when, once you've made it, what continues to drive you to do what it is that you're passionate about? You know, for me, it's um, I felt like I made it the way you're asking the question when I made a hundred thousand dollars a year. That was like, there's I've never done anything financial. A lot of good things have happened to me that has remotely hit my radar more than the year I made a hundred thousand a year. I would argue that if you really knew everything about me and you read it all, every action I ever did, you would look me in the face and ask me, why do you sabotage yourself in business and financial environments? And I would tell you that deep down, subconsciously, I love it so much that I just want it to happen forever. And so, for me, making it is, is a, for, you know, it just, there, it, that's what, that's what blows me away about somebody who's like, I just need to make a million bucks and I'm gonna go to Jamaica, right? Or, or like, I, I don't have that. I don't have that in my head. I just wanna play forever. Um, and that's why I'm trying to get people to understand the process. Because I've, it is very clear to me that people that are in love with their craft and process can win. And that's why I'm trying to change the conversation around how much money you need to be happy because it doesn't work. Like I just know unbelievable amounts of data of how many people have lots of money, how many people don't have lots of money by our standards, and how happy they are. And it doesn't take a lot of money to be, you know, to be alive in society. It's about what you spend it money on. I mean, I, I, I can't get over this. I just really wish people liked what they did. Because the game's very simple. If you've got debt, or have to put a roof over your head, or somebody else, then you work whatever job is paying you that. But I'm asking you what are you doing from 6 p.m. to midnight? And if you have to go build slowly your portfolio, your Shopify store, your Instagram account, your YouTube channel, your content, like, like wouldn't you be pumped if I told you for the next four years it's tough and you don't watch as much Netflix and sports and hanging out, but then you get to live happy for the rest of your life? Everybody, in theory, would sign up for that. The reality is a lot of people don't wanna grind for four years. Like people don't like pain. It's why most people don't have six packs. I mean that, I mean that. There's a lot of people here who wanna be in better shape. You just don't wanna work out. You just don't wanna eat well. Like I lived it for the first 38 years of my life and then I got into better shape. I still hate it. I fucking was pissed this morning waking up at 5.55 to work out but because I want it, And so I've gone through doing something that didn't come natural to me, that I hate to this day four and a half years later, but I just wanna live 15 years longer. And so for me it's like, if if any person in here is unhappy, I need to know every single minute you spend on anything but your job, because I'll tell you, taking those leisure hours which you're using to escape your unhappiness, you're literally watching Netflix or sports or video, playing video games or listening to music to escape your reality that you're not happy about. I want you to take those hours and start building something that gets you off your issue and it might take seven years but it's worth it. You're gonna, everybody here is gonna live for fucking 60, 70 more years. People got tricked, 54 is young. 54 is young and so people have terrible ability to put time in perspective, which is why their behaviors are so broken. All right. Show me, show me, show me. Let's go, let's go. My guy. Fuck man, that was more like 10. That was pretty pretty sexy out there. How, what's the power of building relationships for you? What relationships are, it's the only thing. what does yeah, that mean for you? It means the only thing that has long-term value is yeah. actual relationships. Right. That is the currency. Right. That's how life works. 100%. 100%. I run a travel website, Nightlife for Study Abroad Students. I just graduated college. I traveled all the time internationally while I was in school. I settled down working in a finance role. I don't have the chance to travel and create that content anymore right now. What do I do, man? I'm stuck. I can't. You can, you can absolutely create a, a, a framework of freelancers who live in those spots who can create that content. Every funny. single person is a fucking content producer. Yeah, dude. Thanks, man. Oh, okay.